<laughs> Alright, welcome ladies, gentlemen, and variations thereupon. Welcome to set 14. Let's play Dragon Age 2, my rogue playthrough. Wow, 14 sets to get to this final part. It's been quite a trip. <clears throat> Holy shit. Let's do it! Okay. Now, before starting this quest, remember... <clears throat> you need to have all secondary quests, all companion quests... All materials and everything you need done and ready to go. Once we accept this quest and go into the gallows, that's it. No going back. It was one of the reasons why you should probably keep this quest uh, unmarked until you get till you you're, you're certain you want to go. So let's go. Champion, you have proven yourself a friend to Kirkwall, Kirkwall's mages, and it seems I must call upon you once again. Mary has gone too far. I will not let her madness remain unchecked. I ask you come to the gallows at once. Perhaps together we can stop this before there is bloodshed. First Enchanter or Sino. Let's go do it. So off screen, all I did was sell the junk I don't need anymore. And um, uh, buy Thel grenades and get rid of my old combustion grenades. Thel grenades are basically combustion grenades with more oomph behind them. Alright. Last straw. Oh boy, this upcoming part. It's going to be interesting, especially considering my character's various uh, affection towards us. Each time I've played this game, I've always made a conscious decision to make sure everyone loves me at max affection. Now, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I mean, Meryl doesn't have, doesn't have any strong opi opinions about me either which way. I mean, she's leaning more towards friends, but only just. Very curious. Very, very curious. Champion, thank the maker you've come. What's happened? First Enchanter Orsino got into a terrible argument with the Knight Commander. He stormed off to bring the matter before the Grand Cleric, but the Knight Commander gave chase. I fear there will be blood. Wonderful. Take me to them. Like I said, immediately to them. Oh boy. Those new to the games, brace yourself. I will have the tower searched, top to bottom! You cannot do that! You have no right! I have every right! You are harboring blood mages, and I intend to root them out before they infect this city! Blood magic? Where do you not see blood magic? My people cannot sneeze without you accusing them of corruption! Do not trifle with me, mage! My patience is at an end! The wonder that I never saw it begin! The way you two carry on, people will talk. This does not involve you, champion. I called her here. I think the people deserve to know just what you've done. What I have done is protect the people of this city time and again. What I have done is protect you mages from your curse and your own stupidity. And I will not stop doing it. I will not lower our guard. I dare not. Is there any truth to what she's saying? These are only her latest accusations, nothing more. And what if she does not find what she's looking for? How much further will she go to root out something that isn't there? The champion knows better than anyone how deep the Circle's corruption goes. I must find the source. You both set quite the example for your people, you know that? What other option do we have? Tell me, champion, that you have not seen with your own eyes what they can do. Heard the lies of mages that seek power. They're not the only ones that lie and seek power. You would cast us all as villains, but it is not so. I know, and it breaks my heart to do it. But we must be vigilant. If you cannot tell me another way, do not brand me a tyrant. This is getting us nowhere. Grand Cleric Athena will put a stop to this. You will not bring her grace into this. 
The Grand Cleric cannot help you. Explain yourself, mage. I will not stand by and watch you treat all mages like criminals. While those who would lead us bow to their Templar jailers. How dare you speak to the me? The circle has failed us, Orsino. Even you should be able to see that. The time has come to act. There can be no half measures. Anders, what have you done? There can be no turning back. Why didn't she listen to me? Blessed be the souls of the faithful that they ascend to your right hand. Why? Why would you do such a thing? I remove the chance of compromise. Because there is no compromise. The Grand Cleric has been slain by magic. The Chantry destroyed. As Knight Commander of Kirkwall, I hereby invoke the right of annulment. Every mage in the Circle is to be executed. Immediately! The Circle didn't even do this! Champion, you can't let her help us stop this madness! And I call on you to keep order. After what just occurred, you cannot deny what must be done. Why are we debating the right of annulment when the monster who did this is right here? I swear to you, I will kill him. It can't be stopped now. You have to choose. Was that... why you needed me to distract the Grand Cleric? This... this is what you tried to trick me into doing. And you went along with him. If you knew what I was doing, you would have felt honor bound to stop me. I couldn't take that chance. The Circle is an injustice. In many places beyond Kirkwall. The world needs to see. Elthina is not the Circle. She was a good woman, and you murdered her! You fool! You've doomed us all! We were already doomed. A quick death now, or a slow one later. I'd rather die fighting. You're a murderer. The Grand Cleric, the mages. Their blood is on your hands. I know. It doesn't matter. Even if I wished to, I could not stay my hand. The people will demand blood. I don't want to get involved in this. You are already involved. You are the champion of Kirkwall. Do your duty, or fall with these mages. It is your choice. This won't be easy, but I'll defend you. But what of Anders? Hawk, if you do this, I don't know if I can follow. The mages here would become magisters if they could. Do not let them. You sure about this? Even you might not win this fight. I know we can do this. I believe in you, Hawk. Ah, oh, shit. What have you gotten yourself into this time, Isabella? Think carefully, champion. Stand with them and you share their fate. I can live with that. Thank the Maker. No, I won't fight to save these mages. Not for you, not for anyone. I see what you are trying to do, and my place is with you. You are a fool, champion. Kill them all! I will rouse the rest of the Order! Go! Get to the gallows before it's too late! Okay, so, basically, if you have a, mag a max affection with any of your characters, um, if you go against their personal beliefs, they will fight with you. 
such as the case with Aveline. Actually, this is actually a really good example of this. Since I maxed Aveline's affection with me, she decided to go against the Templars and the city to help protect the mages because of our friendship. However, since I did not max Fenris's affection, even though it's very close, he uh, did not he would not join us. Alright, let's use the fell grenade, see how this works. Nice! A lot more powerful than combustion grenade. Damn! So it's come to this. I don't know if we can win this war, champion, but thank you. I will leave your friend for you to deal with. I must return to the gallows. Meet me there as soon as you can. That I haven't already said. I took a spirit. Sorry about the lag, you can give it a second. I'm gonna wait for it to uh, get done before I continue. Did that spirit tell you to do this? No. When we merged, he ceased to be. We are one now. I can no more ignore the injustice of the Circle than he could. I might have understood if you'd only told me. You condone this. The brutal death of an innocent woman of faith. Someone you knew. Who trusted you. I wanted to tell you. But what if you stopped me? Or worse, what if you wanted to help? I couldn't let you do that. The world needs to see this. Then we can all stop pretending the circle is a solution. And if I pay for that with my life, then I pay. Perhaps then justice would at least be free. Opinions? If I'd been in that chantry today, would you be waffling? You know what must be done. Bold plan. Well, I thought so. Belief is no excuse. Sincerity does not justify this. He should come with us. Do what he can to put things right. I think I'm sick of mages and Templars. Whatever you do, just do it. Help me defend the mages. You mean... stay with you? I didn't think you'd let me. But if you do, I'll fight the Templars. Damned right I will. No! You cannot let this abomination walk free. He dies, or I am returning to Starkhaven. And I will bring such an army with me on my return, that there'll be nothing left of Kirkwall for these Maleficarum to rule. Do not interfere, Sebastian. I will not fight you, Hawk. My death now would serve nothing. I will return to Starkhaven, but... I swear to you, I will come back and find your precious Anders. I will teach him what true justice is. Thank you for my life. I'll try not to make such a mess of it this time. How invigorating. We'd all best get to the gallows. And quick. It's going to be quite a show. So Nexus doesn't agree with what he did, but he or she's letting him basically have a chance to prove himself. It's about it. Just Make up for his uh, mistake. When this is over, you will turn yourself in for your crime. I'm well aware of your commitment to oppression. The laws of the land fairly applied to everyone. Yep. That is actually something I would very much like to see. <sighs> you're no better than and you're no better than Orsino and Meredith. Jeez. Oh. 
Bethany? Your sister shows up at the oddest times. I've been looking everywhere for you. I thought you were dead. Here to cheer on the Templars, are you? I... wanted to apologize for what happened in the Deep Roads. You saved my life, and I couldn't even see that. You're the only family I have left. If you need my help against the Templars, just say the word. I thought the Order was supposed to be neutral. Right now, I'm not a Grey Warden. I'm your sister. I blamed you for putting me in the Order, but you did it to help me. I was wrong. Your magic would be welcome. Good. But the Hawk Sisters together again. Just like old times. Yep. Okay. Fuck you. Bring back Bethany. Now Bethany has a lot of leveling up to do. Uh, she, while she was away, she also became a Force Mage. Auto level. Did she, she learn any of the spells? No, she didn't. She learned Elemental, Arcane, and started working on Entropy. Alright. Let's go, sis. Sister, this is my wife, Isabella. <laughs> oh boy. Stay where you are. There is no escape. Leave me alone. I never asked for any of this. The law is clear, mage. We cannot take the risk. Keep away from me. I'm warning you. <laughs> You guys just fall for cornering her like that. Jeez. Alright, no flow grenade. Where are those ass hats? Go for it. Fuck you. Thank you, Bethany. I'm stuck on a wall. Fuck. There we go. Ah, great. Saw, saw you. Nope. You! Am I good? <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Oh boy, this fight. Oh, nice timing, Isabella! Fuck. Alright, let's go. Sorry, my thumb started to lock up from all this button mashing. Give me that! Recharge! Oh boy, let's continue onwards. It's a good thing I came. Now we fight. Right? God damn it. it there we go. Oh shit. So glad I got those spell grenades. You! It is nice to see Bethany back, though. I missed her. She was my, uh, my mage in Act 1. Yeah. Before Anders. Alright. Still charging. Yeah, it is. God, I wish I had some AoE abilities with my mate, with my rogue. a hell of a lot easier it would. God damn it takes forever to recharge. Oh thanks for the firestorm. I missed that spell. Alright, let's continue onwards. Oh no more. God damn Templars. Come on. Oh, hi! A Templar Lieutenant. Nope! You missed! I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. Here we go! Assassinate! Come on. Okay then. That was fun. Let's come 
down here and save. Oh, nice. Save, save slot one is the uh, save for this file. Coincidence? Or did I plan it out? Eh, that's a coincidence. I always luck out like that, though. Whenever the final set, well, final, quote-unquote, set, is always going to be the first save slot I started. Actually, it is going to be the final save slot, because I only have two sets left. And they're the DLC ones. Yes. Ow. You're a bitch. Meredith. My statue! Ah, oh, great. Blood Mage. Alright, let's get rid of her real quickly because don't want to deal with her magic. Holy fuck, that's a lot of shades. Alright, we'll wait for them to, uh, gather around. Perfect. Alright. Let's get as many as we can. No, dude! This area has always fucked me over whenever I get here. There's just all these fucking shades everywhere. Also, a Pride Demon, too. Who's casting this? I'm stuck, fuck. Let me out! Let me out! There we go. Alright. Fuck grenade. On this cluster. Thank you, Isabella! Teleport! Teleport! There we go! Assassinate his ass! Assassinate his ass! Soon! There you go. That was fun. All right, shit, that's coming up, isn't it? Just say no. The last time I had clams in the docks, I was sick for a week. Um. Well, I appreciate the concern. Not really a good time to mention that. Yeah. So yeah, um, as I was saying, uh. <laughs> Nexus didn't approve what Anders did, but she's giving him a chance, one final chance, to make up for it. Not even bring him in my party. Shit. She probably would have agreed with him if uh, uh, Bethany was in the circle or was it was in the circle instead with the wardens. Revoke the right of annulment, Meredith, before this goes too far. Imprison us if you must. Search the tower. I will even help you. But do not kill us all for an act we did not commit. The Grand Cleric is dead, killed by a mage. The people will demand retribution, and I will give it to them. 
Your offer is commendable, Orsino, but it comes too late. I was kind of hoping for a happy ending. I doubt we'll be seeing that. You realize this is a cause you cannot hope to win. I suppose dying with you at my side is too much to ask? I, uh... I have changed my mind, human. I will stand with my friend. As you wish. I did not ask for your assistance. I'm disappointed in you, champion. So be it. You will share the Circle's fate. So what is it to be, Meredith? Do we fight here? Go. Prepare your people. The rest of the Order is already crossing the harbor. This isn't over. Apparently, if you have a high enough affection, even though it's not max, you can get him to come join your side. I believe 100 is a guaranteed join, 75% is a... You can convince, and anything below is... No. So yeah, I was able to convince him to join. Which is nice. At least I don't have to kill him. Which actually does happen if you, uh... <laughs> can't get them to join your side. Alright, let's do this. Let's do a quick save, then we talk to everyone. Uh, it's a shame I couldn't keep Sebastian, though. Alright, let's start with Fenris and work our way around. Isabella will be last. Here I am, about to defend these mages in hopeless battle. You lead me to strange places, Hawk. This isn't so strange, really. What's one more life or death battle? An excellent point. Now the battle awaits us. Navia Lerno Victoria. Only the living know victory. Fight well. Captain. Ah, uh, not for much longer if this goes bad. What a mess. You really put loyalty to the test, you know. Donick has kept the guard protecting civilians. Meredith will have no support from them. With luck, well, let's just say we need some luck. Starting to doubt me? Never. Almost never. Let's keep the damage to a minimum, shall we? I've walked away from too many wastelands for one lifetime. With Carver, I never got the chance to say goodbye. I don't want that to happen this time. Sister, if we... If we don't make it, just know that I love you. I wouldn't have chosen this life, but the Maker gave it to me for a reason. Maybe this is it. Does that mean you forgive me? I used to imagine what would have happened if I'd stayed with Mother instead of going on that damned expedition. Was Carver not enough for the Darkspawn? Did they have to steal my life as well? But the Wardens serve a purpose, a noble one. I can't regret helping them. Of all we did, if you could change one thing, what would it be? I'd have thrown Carver on his stupid ass so he wouldn't attack that ogre. He was always such a show-off. Everything else? The Maker is wiser than we can be in a lifetime. Who am I to question his plan? He picked one damned roundabout way to do it. <laughs> you never change, do you? Maybe the Maker knew we needed that much time to understand. Thank you for supporting my people. It means a lot that you at least haven't turned against us. I underestimated you, Hawk. I really thought when it was put to the test, you'd have to kill me. You are an example to us all. Oh, stop. You're making me blush. Thank you for standing by me. 
We would not have reached this point without you. May the Maker bring us victory. Maybe if he shows his approval, the world will finally be ready to change. <laughs>